the alarm goes off as the darkness debate if it should open the gates and give way to the light, beginning of a new day and new adventures. Rubbing their sleepy eyes, kids find their way into the van, settling while making the seats as comfortable a bed as they can. Driving northbound, taking in the fresh aroma of citrus blossoms in the damp air of the dawn, the van glides through the narrow road lined with orange trees on either side. Beams of light break through the morning fog, making visible blooms in rainbow of colors as it is spreading a Persian carpet across the hills. As darkness recedes, the scenery changes and the road opens to a magnificent vastness of ocean blue. The young sun, spreading its rays, playfully bouncing off the waves, beaming down into the depth to wake the creatures under the calm, gentle rays. By midday, pulling into the shadows of the redwoods, a deep inhale fills the lungs with the aroma that is unmatchable. The smell of the earth, wood, fire, combined with sounds of water crossing the rocks in the river, birds singing, wood creaking, leaves falling and more, raking all senses to witness the beauty nature has to offer, all in one place, one moment, and one breath. The next few days are all dedicated to taking it all in, to take in all this beauty, to renew the body and revive the soul, a time to reboot the self. For over 20 years, every summer, my family would take the drive along the beautiful coastlines of California, heading north to the land of redwoods, wine, and the utmost beauty. The preparation would start about a month prior to our departure, with excitement growing as we got closer. It was an evolving ritual as we figured out every year new ways to prepare and new ways to enjoy our retreat into the woods, camping, hiking, and just taking it easy. As life's complications grew, kids got older, and health challenges arose, we stopped our uh, annual ritual, heading north through booting and reviving our soul. We miss it greatly. Although I miss those times, what most breaks my heart is all the devastation that is resulting from the fires raging and changing the landscapes I once knew. This year, as I watch the news, witnessing it all turning into ash, memories of that beautiful land flashed in front of my eyes. The cool, tranquil scenes that I looked forward to every year, as I remembered them, began finding their ways onto my canvases. Land on Fire is a memorial to not just the life that I remember, but also vanishing beauty that is irreplaceable. This is a series that evokes a sense of yearning in my heart, yearning for the beauty of life and beauty of nature.